Dogfish Head Craft Brewery in Milton needs a lot of water to make beer. We are talking hundreds of thousands of gallons of water a day. That's why good water stewardship is a priority for the craft brewer and why Dogfish Head went all in on a $9 million investment. Beer is big business in Milton, where Dogfish Head is headquartered. This year, the craft brewery is on pace to churn out 250,000 barrels. That's a lot of beer and a lot of water pulled from its well. For us, we operate about three and a half gallons of water as necessary to make one gallon of beer. So it's about a three and a half to one ratio. The two and a half gallons that don't make it into your pint glass is considered wastewater, as is the 75,000 gallons Dogfish Head uses every day to clean its pipes and tanks. Cleanliness equals tastiness. After we've stripped out the starch, converted it to sugar and made beer, we have all that leftover agricultural material in our waste streams, and that's what we call wastewater. It's not what people think of at home. You know, number one, number two going down the drain, this is agricultural products. The way it works now, tanker trucks haul all of that wastewater to local farms at least 10 times a day. The grass loves it, but dogfish can't get rid of it if it's raining. Those are the state's rules. It's kind of like the human body. At some point, the body will break down if it can't get rid of its waste products. In other words, the brewery has to shut down, and that means no beer. And no beer means no money. That's why Dogfish Head poured $9 million into an on-site facility it hopes will allow it to clean and reuse its wastewater. So this will help us reduce the amount of water significantly that we can pull from the well. And the process of taking it to fields has always been a stopgap for us. Engineering manager Matt Eisenman oversees the project. The way he explains it, wastewater from the brewery is pumped inside this tan 65,000 gallon tank. From there, it goes into a million gallon tank called a digester that's full of microbes and bacteria that love the stuff in the water. When the bugs are done eating, the water will undergo rigorous filtration. But the goal of that is to create a water that's clear, meets drinking quality standards, doesn't smell, uh, and we can use it back in the brewery to clean our pipes and, and tanks. Eisenman's still working out some of the kinks, but says he's close. So this is a, a typical sample of what's in our wastewater. Mm -hmm. Uh, organic, spent beer, yeast, so it's definitely got an odor to it, it's got color, it's not usable, a lot of mineral content. And then through the different stages of filtration, we're able to take that, and this is actually a sample of what we're doing so far, comes out nice and crystal clear. Mm -hmm. Still a little bit of an odor we got to pull out, and uh, a couple chemical properties we need to tweak a little bit. While he's tweaking, Dogfish Head is saving money on its electric bills, thanks to all those little critters inside the digester and it gives off, just like humans when they have too many beans, <laughs> it gives off methane gas. So we're able to take that methane and capture it, run it through an engine and create power from it. And we'll generate about 40% of our annual electricity needs off of just the waste gases from the bugs eating the material. It's always great when good business practices lines up with good environmental and one doesn't have to be at the expense of the other. When it's a win-win there, it's fantastic. Converting the wastewater into usable water is a first for craft brewing, so there's a lot of interest within the industry because it could be a real game changer. Eisenman is optimistic things will be up and running by November, and once that happens, CEO Nick Ben says Dogfish Head could double in size to make at least 500,000 barrels of beer a year.